Hello viewers, welcome to Limu TV, a station where we watch and learn from your tutor, Hilary Street. Today I'll be taking you through English Form 2, Lesson 7. Our topic will be listening and speaking. Subtopic will be on songs. Uh, so I expect you as a student, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define a song, name different types of songs, identify the importance of songs, Yes, so we'll begin with defining what is a song. So we can say a song is a musical composition with lyrics for voice or voices performed by singing. It's a powerful tool used by people to communicate messages that reflect on day-to-day -day issues in their lives. Uh, from the definition, we can, see, we can see that it's a musical composition in most of the songs that we tend to sing in church, at home, at work, different places, lullabies and whatsoever. Most of the songs always have a musical composition. They have lyrics that when sung intend to bring out our voices. And most of the songs, uh, most most of the songs also have repetition in them. So some songs are, comp are composed for certain occasions or circumstances, while others are composed on the spot as the situation demands. They tell us about beliefs values and even historical development when we look at the importance of songs songs are forms of entertainment for instance if you look at birthday songs and uh, wedding songs circumcision songs children's songs most of the songs are sung to entertain the children to entertain their world or to entertain the people who attend to the different occasions and also say Songs, they teach us values in certain society. Every song has a message, depending on the type of song. And they have an impact. It has a message that's directed to a, maybe a group of people, the youth, the old, the women, the girls, and the kids, children. Uh, we can also say another importance of song. The compass of these features like repetition and rhyme to make the song musical and to make them make their content more, more, more memorable. Most of the songs have a repetition to make them memorable. Uh, most songs are important of songs also we can say they are used to pass a message. Most of the songs are used to express feelings and emotions. For instance, for those who, are, who sang maybe the love song, they are used to express feelings and emotions, maybe of love, uh, heartbrokenness and such. Uh, some songs are also used to express the culture and attitude. If we go for the cultural songs, most of the cultural songs tend to express the love for their culture or the things that any community does. Another important of song, they used to record our history. If we go back maybe to colonization times, most of the songs that, which were sung during those days are still there and they record what happened during that specific time. And most of the songs also are used for socialization. This is important among the peers. They sing a song, first time to enjoy, to interact with one another. So it's important to consider the following features when studying songs. Feature that you should consider when studying a song is that what type of a song is it? When is the song sung? Why is the song sung? Who sings the song? And what are the major characteristics of such a song? How is it performed? And what are the accompaniments that are used during its performance? We have different types of songs. We have wedding songs, initiation songs, lullabies, praise songs, political songs, war songs, dirges or funeral songs, and work songs, uh, child naming songs, sac uh, sacred songs, and love songs. If we look first at the lullaby, these are songs sung for babies by their caregivers to soothe them to sleep or stop crying. Their caregivers will be their mother or older siblings. What are the characteristics of lullabies? You can say they are repetitive, they are sung softly, they have a soothing word that even accompanies lying to the child, and they have a slow rocking rhythm. What about dirges as another type of a song? You can say these are songs sung during funerals in remembrance of ceremonies of departed people. They are generally joyless or somber. They are sung by mourners. 
throughout the, the characteristics of Dajes songs or why are they oh sorry why are Dajes songs sung? They are sung to mourn the dead, to express sorrow and disbelief at the loss, to pray for the sorrow of the deceased, to lament over the fate of the family left behind, to praise the achievement and the virtues of the dead, to cast the to cast the blame of the suspected killer, to show our helplessness on matters concerning death. Today we've looked at the two types of songs and I would like you to try the following assignment. What are lullabies and what are the four characteristics of lullaby? Having not said that for much, you can refer the, you can refer much of the songs you can refer to examining in English students in the two published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. You can also reach us on the following contacts, our SMS line, YouTube Elimo TV, Facebook Elimo TV, Twitter at Elimo TV underscore KE. Thank you for the lesson.